So we're asked to determine the force in members AB and AG, and for the answers we need to indicate if the members are tension or compression through the signage. So positive will be tension and compression will be negative. So AB and AG are these two members on the end here. So we technically have a choice of whether we use um, method of sections or method of joints. And I would say probably the easiest way this time is to use method of joints, simply because if we start on this end here and analyze joint A, we should be able to get these two out. Um, you could use method of sections, um, but yeah, it'd be the same kind of thing. So the first step that we need to do is to draw the free body diagram of the overall truss. So scrolling down, I've copied um, a picture of what it looks like. So what we need to do is transfer down the external loads. So we have the six kilonewtons acting here. Oop, that's meant to say kilonewtons. And we also have the eight acting here. And then in terms of the supports, A here is drawn as a pin. So we know a pin has both a horizontal and a vertical reaction force. So we'll call it AX and AY. And then at E here, we can see that it's a roller, okay, or a rocker. It's able to move horizontally. So that means it's only got the one reaction perpendicular to the surface, which we're calling EY. So if I want to analyze this joint here on the end, A, because that's going to be where my um, this one and this one, which I'm trying to work out, let's label them. So this is B and this is G. So if I want to analyze this joint here to get AB and AG's force, um, I need to figure out what these reactions are. So in order to do that, we have our three equilibrium equations. And I'm going to start by summing moments about point E here. That should enable me to work out EY. And then I can come back and find these other two. So, um, sorry, I'm going to start by summing moments about the pin, which is at A. So that means that AX and AY act through the point, so they're not going to appear. So the next one I'll consider is the 6 kilonewtons, and we need the distance from where it acts um, back to point A. If we scroll up here, we can see that all of these are separated by 3 meters. So this distance in here is 3. And then in terms of the direction, we're considering anti-clockwise is positive. So that means that um, this is going to try and push us in the clockwise direction, so it should go in as negative. The next one is the 8 kilonewtons. It's at an extra 3 meters across, which makes it 6. And this is going to be in the clockwise direction as well, so it's negative. And then we have EY, which is at another 3 meters across, so that makes it a total of 9. And this one is going to go in the anti-clockwise direction about A, so it shall be positive. So if we go through and solve for EY, it comes out to 7.33 kilonewtons. So now I can go back and get these other two. So if I sum forces in the X direction, I'm going to get that AX is equal to nothing, because there's nothing applied in the X direction. I should pop this one in. And now if I sum forces in the y direction, I'm going to get AY going up, so it's positive, 6 and 8 going down, so they're negative, and then EY we know is uh, 6.33 up. So we can solve for AY, it comes to 6.67 kilonewtons. All right, so now that we know the reactions happening at A, let's analyze what's happening at joint A using method of joints. All right, so isolating this, we have the 6.67 going up. AX is zero, so I may as well not put it on the diagram since it's not gonna have any effect on the forces. And then we have the two, two force members coming out of it, AB and AG. Now we need to give these directions. So I'm gonna guess if this one is going up, this one has to go down in order to counteract it. And now this one is going to the left, so that one's going to have to go to the right to counteract it. The other thing we need on this diagram is the angle at which um, FAB acts in here. Since it's a two force member, we know the direction of the member is the direction of the force. And we can see here that this is basically an equilibrium triangle. We've got two three meter sides. This one will end up being a three meter side as well. And we know equilibrium, uh, sorry, equilateral triangles. Um, have 60 degree angles all the way around. 
Okay, so that means the angle between these two members is 60 degrees. And we have all the information that we need to be able to solve this free body diagram. So I'm going to start by summing forces in the y direction of this diagram, simply because I should only have the one unknown that appears in the equation. So FAB, it's going to be the sine component of the triangle that acts in the y direction. And it's going downwards according to my diagram, so it should be negative. And then we have this going up. So if you go and solve for FAB, it comes out to 7.7 .7 kilonewtons. And it's come out positive, which means the direction is correct. So the question asked us to identify whether our members were tension or compression. This one, since it came out positive, direction was correct, and we can see it's pushing onto the mem uh, onto the joint, sorry. So it's going to be compression. If we now go and apply our other equilibrium equation, forces in X, we're going to have FAB part of it going backwards. It's going to be the cos component this time. Then we've drawn this one in the positive X direction. So the force in member AG works out to 3.8 kilonewtons. It comes out positive, which means the direction was correct. So this one is pulling away from the joint, which means it's a tension member. So these are the two answers that we need to look for. If we go up here, um, these first ones are the force in AB, and these next ones are the force in AG. So we decided that AB had a force of 7.7 .7 kilonewtons, and the negative means it's in compression, which is what we had. And we also worked out that AG had 3.8 kilonewtons and it's positive, which would suggest it's tension, which is again is what we had. So that would be the answer to this question. So that's all there is.